recently, but I kind of knew. How recently? Was this a week? Was this a month? Was it with a you? month? I told him I wanted him to okay. come home for dinner and he should bring some girl he's seeing. He mm -hmm. says he was going to bring a, a guy. And I but, said, no, it must be a buddy. And he right. goes, there's a little bit more than a buddy. But you've now mentioned that you had your suspicions earlier. Yeah. Why? Are you familiar with the homosexual lifestyle? No. Can I answer the question? Oh, well, I'm asking how well, you're you firing mean? like lots of questions on me. I feel mm -hmm. like, you know, I'm on a job to stand here. Well, then answer one. <laughs> well, just ease up a little, okay? Well, answer right. a question. Oh, uh, well, you, you know, what are you asking? I'm offering several baby? to choose from. Pick one. Okay, I'm going to pick one. Please. You come across as hostile. No, you're not answering the question. Could you be kind? <laughs> sue me? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, maybe you all with some of the lesbian couples mm -hmm. that come in here, you can sue me. You can act that way with me. Do you presume that I'm, I'm easier on the lesbians than I am on you, Morris? I just have a feeling you I'm going to go out on a limb. Do you, do you uh, in all of your incredible insight into the homosexual you're, you're community... Being, you're being fucking sarcastic. In, in your Why you got to be sarcastic? the homosexual community, do you perceive lesbians as being weaker and, and sensitive? No, no. I, women are softer right. and kinder. But what is your general. perception of lesbians? Double the night's kindness. Double. So you soften up. They probably love you sweat. Mm -hmm. So, back to... So when you perceived your son as a homosexual, were you... Yeah. Were, yeah. You kind of knew? He never thought. He never right. Thought women. And were you unfaithful to your wife during this time? Or did you all... Were you had a better relationship and you were able to talk about it? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What, what is... What is me... What? Where'd that come from? You just asked me when I suspected when I suspected my son. Right. I suspected my son because he I would ask him, what'd you do for the weekend? Mm -hmm. Did you go out with anybody? Right. And he would tell me he saw a movie mm -hmm. or he went somewhere. I said, Who'd you go with? And it would always be like a buddy. Right. It would never be a girl. But you do realize that in all these conversations, you're treating it as if almost you were a single father or a sole presence there. Not my wife and I would ask, or we were at dinner, and so it makes me believe there was some isolation in your marriage. Yes? She had Alzheimer's. She had Alzheimer's, and you know what? Before she really started to lose it, I think she knew, and she accepted him for what he was, mm -hmm. and they had a closer relationship. And, uh, and she knew I didn't approve, and he knew I didn't approve, so he didn't confide in me. And as it turns out, he was confiding in her behind my back. And because the way it worked out, she and I grew distant. Mm. The Alzheimer's and the different... And look, it hurt her too. Right, but it also changed. sounds like... But it, she loved him unconditionally. But it also sounds like it drove you away from your son as well. Yes. So did you feel isolated and alone in your own family? Yes, I did. Very well put, Dr. And was that isolation punctuated by her passing, or did it feel like you had already lost her? You know, that's a great question. It was, let's put it this way. When somebody has extreme senility or Alzheimer's, in a way, their death isn't such a shock because in a way, you say goodbye to them five years earlier. Mm -hmm. So, I was alone already. So did you resent her for leaving? Did you resent your son for having a relationship with her behind your back, without you, for excluding you? No, because I was pushing them away. Mm -hmm. I just, I was kind of jealous that they were close. Right. I just, I just figured he was going through a phase, you know. Right. Eventually. But was the jealousy him. fueling your perception of his lifestyle, or was you, was his lifestyle fueling your jealousy? So quiet, Morris. Why are you so quiet, Morris? I'm just thinking. Tell what? I'll tell you if you shut me down. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you. Please. <laughs> can we do me a favor? Can we, like, when, no. I, when I'm on a sentence, can we just wait till like the period would be there if we were writing it down before you talk? No. Can we just try that? No. no you're in my room, Morris. You're in my room, Morris. These are my sessions. We'll conduct them the way that has been successful for a dozen years in my career. Have you patience, Dad, and I'll make a request. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to the sessions on time, I'm paying you for 
this session. Right. I just want to finish the final sentence. Just, you, you know, what a period would be. If we, we are actually yes, out of time. time. We're out of fucking so time. I just got here. It's been an hour. An hour <laughs> or 50 minutes? Come on. I know what you guys do. What you do call we call it an hour, but an hour is 60 minutes, uh -huh. and you guys stop at 50 minutes. I, I got here at 2 o'clock. I see. So it's 250. Morris, you, you own Why can't I stay in that building? You own a building, correct? Yeah. You have tenants at that building? Yes. They pay you to live there? Yes. Do they pay you only while they occupy the building, or do they pay to have the building? To have they the pay space. to have the I know where this is going. You're going right. to tell me that after the next 10 minutes, you're going to be writing shit about me, and that's still work. Right? Absolutely. Here's the last thing I'm going to say. I you asked me why I was quiet. Very much one question. But we're out of time. One so question. I have to save it for next week. Fuck. But I appreciate you coming in, Morris. And I look forward to continuing this together. I think the biggest thing that we really need to focus on is the difference between you and your son's relationship prior to your wife passing and after. Because it sounds like there was a division there that you're treating as the same. That there was no change. And yet... Underneath, I feel there was a switch. There was a transfer. Transfer. From after my wife died, you're saying that my relationship with my son got worse after my wife died? I'm not saying it got worse or better. I'm just saying that I believe it changed. And I think that that's something great that we should talk about next session. Will I not have a relationship with my son until I embrace homosexuality as equal to heterosexuality? Are you telling me that? Well, how important is homosexuality? Very much. Well, then I'd say that you have to embrace it. And can we do this in 24 sessions? Because that's going to take me a long time. Personally, candidly. I don't see it happening. I'm going to try, but I, 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 I don't know. I can get past it, Doc. Oh, I can get past it. I think if we stick to the questions, not the tangents, I think we'll get there. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Morrison.